Hi everybody, thanks for checking in today. I've got a really quick one for you on uh, improving your radio communications, potentially. Uh, if you've watched much of my channel, you know that I fly quite a bit from private airports, so I usually carry an aircraft radio, and I also have a second radio for uh, two-way communications with pair motors, and also my phone playing music, typically. Um, but all that means I want clear communication. And when I first started out, I got really nasty, garbled, kind of static, depending on my engine RPM. And it turns out my ignition coil, what actually makes the spark, was causing EM interference with radio transmissions. So today I'm going to show you a way that might solve that problem if you're having it. And it is this sheathing. Now this is a tinned copper sheath that covers the spark plug wire and grounds it and cuts down or eliminates, hopefully, that weird static, especially if you're hearing a transmission and as you change engine RPMs, you can hear kind of a brrrr with your motor. That's probably what's causing it and hopefully this helps you fix it. So this is just a quick video to show you how to knock that out. I've had a few people ask me for it and here it is. So first things first, if you have an inductive wire for your hour meter or RPM gauge, you need to cut that free. Usually they are just zip tied on. There you go. We'll pull our spark plug boot off. And then we're also going to undo this bolt. Now this bolt goes into the head of our Atom 80 here and holds the spark plug wire in place. And also take this small clamp off. Now we have to take the spark plug boot itself off. The uh, spark plug connection is actually just a wire and a small spring up in the top corner of this. I found it easiest to slice up the back ridge of the spark plug boot and uh, that just lets it pull right off. Sometimes you can get them off, but uh, I'm not gonna stress it. You can see that slice I made. And this pulls out it basically just clamps through the spark plug wire to make a connection. And that is what actually sits on top of your spark plug wire. So today we're going to be using this ribbon sheathing. Um, I believe this is a tinned copper ribbon sheathing. Uh, links are in the description down below, of course. But we're just going to run this all the way down to the base of our coil, up along the wire, and we're going to stop before we get here. This this is the conductive part that makes the spark and we're going to be grounding this. So if you touch your sheathing to your actual spark plug connection, you're going to kill the spark plug because you're effectively grounding its output. You're not going to have any spark. So to make sure I don't go over that, I'm actually going to wrap this in tape here. I'm going to wrap it down maybe another half inch or so. Like so. Then you want to take this sheathing and uh, Cut a piece that goes from the base of your coil all the way along your wire and stops short of where we just taped. Stuff might be Popper. but it's pretty thin so it cuts fine with regular scissors. Now it's constructed like a Chinese finger trap if, if you know what those are. So you're gonna have to take something on the inside of it to open it up. And once you do you squish it back in, it kind of does this ballooning motion and that's going to help us get it on the wire. Try to keep the ends neat, but it's not the end of the world if you can't. Now remember, this uh, works the same as those Chinese finger traps, so we really have to make sure that we're pushing instead of trying to pull, because if we pull, it's going to constrict up. There we go. Now, remember that wire that we took off in step one? This needs to get back inside of it. So here's a really easy way that I found to do that. Find out where it would have sat originally, right around here in my case. I'm going to take a pick. You can also use a screwdriver uh, and just go in between the threads to make myself a little hole. Run this back in. then squish all this back down until I can grab my wire. 
there it is. So we want this wire inside the sheathing so that it can pick up the pulses, right? Because we're using the sheathing as a shield to stop the pulses. So right here, we're gonna go ahead and give it the normal amount of wraps. I'll throw a zip tie on that. There we go. And then we feed this back forward. So now you've got your tack wire entering and uh, wrapped on the inside of it. So now that we've got all this, we're going to clean up the top and the bottom by just wrapping it in tape. So I would slide this back just a touch, get your tape started. This will give it kind of an anchor. Wrap it forward a bit. Bring our sheathing up to it. Remember stopping short of where that actual spark plug uh, clamp piece goes in. It's right there. And we'll wrap it. There's that in, and we're going to do the same thing down here at the coil, which is going to be hard for you to see, but trust me, it's going to look the same. All right, so tape down below, tape up above with your tack wire inside, if applicable. Now we're going to throw that boot back on. Now this is going to be tough because we've added tape. So if you take your boot and you find it's really stiff to try to get anything in there, I've found that a spray of WD-40 helps um, electrical tape mostly at my job. Um, get through like uh, firewall grommets. So we're gonna give that a spritz and it should slide right in. You wanna make sure that this, this coil piece is lined up vertically with the boot. If it's sideways, you won't be able to get your spark plug to you know sit on, of course. Wire lined up. Look at that. It goes right in. Now, once it's in there and lined up, we've got this split, of course, because we've added thickness to the wire. We're gonna wrap this in tape as well, and then we're gonna throw a couple zip ties on the boot to keep the boot together, because we don't want this wire to pull out of the boot. Before you do that, make sure your coil is lined up up there. Zip tied so it's not going anywhere. So that's the first half, sheathing the spark plug cable. Now we have to ground it. Okay, now we're gonna put our spark plug clamp back on slide it on here. If your spark plug clamp goes onto a piece of the engine like it does on the Moster, then you can actually take the rubber off and that's your ground, you're done. Unfortunately, on the Adam 80 here, this stud just goes into the plastic that goes around the head. So we have to put this back on and then we're going to ground the sheathing around the spark plug down here at the coil. So down at the coil, if you had a, uh, I guess a two wire paramotor throttle where you had to have a separate wire for the kill switch, this is the ground and that is the bolt where your second wire would go. But uh, my off grid just uses the sheathing for the ground. So anyways, we're gonna take this bolt or this nut off. Now I would use a ring terminal behind this, but uh, personally, I feel confident getting my wire back there and uh, wrapping it and getting it cinched down behind the nut, so no big deal. I'm going to use a little stretch. doesn't have to be much, just has to get up here to our sheathing. Um, recommend you get oxygen-free copper, not copper-clad aluminum. It'll last longer. Now, this wire needs to come in contact with our sheathing, so... I'm going to strip back probably about that much of it, give it a bunch of wraps, and then wrap that in tape, and then throw a zip tie on that so that it doesn't pull the wire out. Just like so. Now for the real hardcore guys out there, you can throw some solder on here to keep it from sliding around. I'm feeling pretty confident in my taping abilities today though, so we're not gonna we're not gonna go that far. Tape's on. Now 
there you go.